assalamu alaikum hello guys in this video i am going to explain you about the auto cycle which is the basic working principle cycle for every spark ignition engine whether it is two stroke or four stroke so let's start auto cycle was first given by alfonso biodi rocas in 1861 he was a french scientist but the nicolas auto built the very first four stroke working engine based on the same cycle so that's why the cycle is named after nicolas auto so now start with the most basic ideal air standard auto cycle the processes includes the isentropic compression from 1 to 2 in which a finite amount of working fluid is compressed isentropically isentropically means the entropy of the system remains constant and also there will be no heat flow into or out from the system and then from 2 to 3 there will be constant volume heat addition in which the working fluid is combusted in the constant volume and then from 3 to 4 there will be isentropic expansion in which the working fluid expands itself and do work on the piston and then again there is constant volume and then the working fluid ejects its heat in that constant volume to the sink so the cycle goes on like this but it is the ideal cycle the working fluid once combusted cannot be reusable so that's why there must be some intake and rejection of the working fluid so as i said that we cannot use a finite amount of working fluid in the system so there must be some intake to the working fluid and also there must be some exhaust to the working fluid theoretically so now let's look at the processes for the theoretical air standard four stroke cycle so from 0 to 1 there is an intake for the working fluid at atmospheric pressure and then from 1 to 2 there is again the isentropic compression of the working fluid from 2 to 3 there is a constant volume heat addition by the spark plug theoretically and then from 3 to 4 there will be the expansion of the working fluid and then from 4 to 1 there is a constant volume heat rejection to the environment theoretically and from 1 to 0 there will be the exhaust stroke the burn gases will leave through the engine to the atmospheric at the atmospheric pressure So now for two stroke air standard theoretical auto cycle all the processes are same just like the theoretical air standard four stroke auto cycle but there are only two strokes of the engine by design so in the first stroke the intake isentropic compression and constant volume heat addition from 1 to 3 are occurring simultaneously and then in the second stroke the isentropic expansion constant volume heat rejection and exhaust are occurring simultaneously from 3 to 1 so look at here in two stroke engines there are two ports the intake port and the exhaust port and you can see that the compression of the working fluid and the intake are occurring simultaneously in the first stroke and here in the second stroke the expansion stroke and the exhaust stroke are occurring simultaneously so usually we never show the intake and the exhaust in case of theoretical air standard two stroke auto cycle on the graph because they are occurring simultaneously with the compression and isentropic ex expansion respectively so now let's come towards the actual auto cycle which something looks like that here i have shown the actual four stroke auto cycle and the first thing to be noted is there is no air solely as a working fluid instead there is a mixture of air plus fuel like gasoline diesel and cng etc as a working fluid all the processes are same but in their practical forms from 0 to 1 there is intake of air plus fuel mixture and then from 1 to 2 there is non instantaneous compression because in reality there are some heat losses from the walls of the engine and other irreversibilities present at point 2 the spark plug ignites the air plus fuel mixture and the combustion is non instantaneous it means that to burn 
completely the air plus fuel mixture we need some time that's why the heat addition process is no longer at constant volume and the peak pressure is somewhere after the spark point and then there is the power stroke from 3 to 4 and this is also known isentropic due to the same reason as I mentioned above also the heat rejection from the exhaust gases also known instantaneous because heat takes some time to reject completely and in the end there are the pumping losses by pumping loss we mean that the work done by the engine in the intake and exhaust processes you can see that the intake is no longer at pressure atmospheric it is at vacuum pressure this is due to the losses in intake manifold the throttle losses that's why the intake air plus fuel mixture lost some pressure below the atmospheric pressure and the piston has to work in order to intake the air plus fuel mixture so that's why the curve looks like that and in the exhaust stroke the exhaust gases are not at the pressure atmospheric the pressure of the exhaust gases are somewhat higher than the atmospheric pressure so because of these losses the actual auto cycle looks like that so that's how the auto cycle works in the spark ignition engines so if you guys have any questions you can comment below i'll try to answer them and don't forget to subscribe and share my channel thank you very much